everybody, welcome back to theclinicaltrialsguru.com again. Theclinicaltrialsguru.com. So you guys have been sending so many questions about running a business in research. We just did the webinar. If you missed it, go check it out. It's the if you're on YouTube, it's the video right before this one. Uh, Twelve months to seven figures in clinical research. All right. So during that webinar, um, the topic came up of bare minimum costs that you need uh, as far as equipment and uh, materials for your research clinic that you'll need to actually open a research clinic. So we're not talking about CLIA waivers and we're not talking about like regulatory stuff and we're not talking about PIs and coordinators and all that stuff that you do need as well. We are talking about things like furniture, like steel cabinets, like blood draw chairs, like ECGs, like centrifuges. Um, and I'm going to make a nice infographic of all this stuff, and I'll probably just put the links underneath this YouTube video also to help you guys out. So here's what we do. Actually, we open sites all the time. For those of you who don't know, DSCS Sweat Equity and Investments, we either open up our own sites that we own ourselves, or we partner with people who want to open sites, and then we own a part of those sites. So we do it all in addition to consulting okay and we pretty much have it down to a science so what you'll need and total price of all this you can do the math because I'm not going to add it up right now I probably should have done it before the video uh, is around seven thousand dollars for the equipment that you'll need okay and then you're set so let's start with the steel cabinet this is for drug storage okay this is about five hundred bucks then you need a blood draw chair, okay? That's uh, three hundred dollars. You'll need an ECG machine, that's eighteen hundred dollars. Many sponsors do provide their own ECG machines, but some don't, and so you need to have one just in case. Centrifuge, uh, four hundred fifteen dollars. Then it would be nice to have a conference table with some chairs, a uh, hundred dollars for each chair, and then the table. Um, just check out the link below, okay? I don't know, you could probably find a good table for like 300 bucks, uh, like a really nice one too. And you've got to have somewhere where the monitor can actually sit when they come over and do site visits, right? So, waiting room chairs. If you're in a clinic that doesn't already have this, you need about six of these, $89 each on Amazon. Uh, thermometer for stored items. Order three of these. Uh, $55 each, so these are like for the room temperature thermometers. Uh, now you need an exam table. So the reason you need so many thermometers is you need, uh, sometimes you have ambient investigational product, sometimes you have uh, refrigerated investigational product, and also you need to keep track of the temperature in the rooms, like in the drug room, drug storage room, where you're going to put item number one, the steel cabinet, and if you're doing controlled substance studies, you need to have the steel cabinet bolted to the wall. Okay? Going back down the list, exam table, $414. A weighing scale, $180. Blood pressure cuff, $30. Printer, copier, fax, all in one, $490. An automatic blood pressure cuff, $69. Stethoscope, $30. These things are self-explanatory. If you don't know why you would need these, probably shouldn't be doing this uh, business, all right? Uh, a negative 20 degree freezer, $220, negative 20 degree Celsius freezer, uh, $220. This is to keep things like PK samples, okay? You'll rarely use it uh, unless you get a study that requires you to keep the PK samples, or if you didn't have time to ship the labs out that day, um, your last option oftentimes is to store them in the fridge and ship them out the next day or in the freezer. Uh, you'll need toner for the printers, $20. You'll need an ECG cart, uh, $55. Conference table, here's the price for that, $316. So right around what I predicted. A writing library table for exam room. This is where you'll go in a room where they do vital signs and you, your coordinator can sit there in one of my clinics we don't have that much space so one of our coordinators sits in the exam room and we set up a desk for him there and that's where he works also uh... that's two hundred forty two dollars 
thermometer for uh, measuring temperature of the humans, like oral or uh, in the ear. Okay, a, a writing, another writing table for the study coordinator room, uh, another $242. Phone system, $180. Uh, waiting room chairs, you can get nicer waiting room chairs and a locking refrigerator for the refrigerated investigational product. So, you know, I don't want to bore you with the list, just go through it, check out the links. This is, these are the bare minimum requirements you need to open a research clinic. I think I'm going to make a nice little infographic with this content on there, uh, just to keep it simple. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, if you need help with any of this, give me a call. My consulting firm can help, or maybe we can even partner with you. 949-415-6256, uh, right? Take care. Bye-bye.